What's going on guys? It is your boy Angry Asa Gamer. I have showered because I've been sleeping all day, but now I've showered. I've done my beard, especially for you guys. Can you see the shine? It is beautiful. I smell good. Paco Rabon, you're a legend. Okay, the other thing is that I want to discuss, and I've never done this before, is this lady. This lady. Very beautiful lady. It's one of my friend's wives. And um, I've never done this before, but I'm going to have to do this today. Um, because I feel now that I have my YouTube channel, I can utilize that to try and do good. That is only if whoever watches the videos plays along. Um, so she is turning 31 and she had a stroke, which is terrible. And um, they think it may be from a um injury she sustained earlier i think this year or last year i'm not entirely sure but she broke her ankle and they think some they, they think it's somehow that is related to the stroke um so the why i'm bringing this up is because they we live in south africa and south africa is extremely expensive to live in especially with our economy being in the th we're not going to go that route thing is it's just expensive and medical bulls are sky high so um why i'm doing this is i'm asking for donations if anybody can donate anything i would i would appreciate that truly um because i want to try and help them pay for the physiotherapy bill once she is she's still in hospital and um, once she's released from hospital she needs to go for phys physiotherapy to start um moving again normally and stuff like that she's having trouble moving and stuff uh, her body doesn't completely work and um yeah so that's going to be expensive so if anybody wants to donate towards that you can uh, the donation link to my paypal you can pay directly to my paypal and everybody that will be donated will go on an email list and will be forwarded all the money uh, all the bills that's being paid with the with the money so if you guys would kindly donate to that i would appreciate that now, moving on to the main reason for the video is my Zephyrica with, eight of, uh, with 9 of 9 Zerk and 8 of 9. I do not have enough life drain to take it to 9 of 9. So I'm going to have to work with 8 of 9 at the moment, uh, at, at this particular point in time. So I will be challenging, obviously, only the top legends. I'm not going to go and change any legend. And, put different talents and crests and stuff like it. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do a straight up challenge. It will be a fight for fight. So I'll fight on T Dizzle's base and T Dizzle's legend will fight then on my base. So that is the way we're going to do this. And my dogs are barking. So this is my build for Zephyrica. This is his build um, equipment. We have Unbridled Fury for that extra attack speed. And then for traits, I'm not happy with the traits. I'm going to change it. I'm gonna be live streaming later on tonight and I'll change it in the accuracy. I don't think he really needs accuracy because rapid fire is pretty accurate. Consistently hitting on that. Um, so I'm thinking probably dodge or attack. I, I think attack. But I don't know if attack is going to affect Zephyrica's rapid fire at all. I don't know. Okay, so Let's just get on with this video, boys. Before I start recording, there is a little tizzle between me and Dizzle. He, okay, this is a screenshot of just messages back and forth, mostly voice notes. But those voice notes contain one particular message which i'm gonna have to censor somehow it's about his ease he says i'm selling his ease i'm saying i'm not okay and then we just go at it at each other and where are all my missing ease really where are all my missing ease if you're not selling them so he <laughs> But now there's an E in the spot that I need to use to put his yellow base in. So for the first time, T-Dizzle, this is the first time I'm ever selling one of your E's. 
and this is gonna happen right now because i'm telling you i didn't you're telling me in a long voice note that you think i'm lying about this so there goes your e sold done with stealth empowered elephant uh, holy conviction this is gonna be pretty difficult dodge and accuracy versus my zephyrico with zerk and life drain Oh, he's taking quite a beating. I think it's the thanks to my accuracy. But now he's in stealth mode. I can't do anything. Damn. And there's no way that I can beat past stealth. Uh, just give him that one shot. That's not going to happen at all. But as soon as I start hitting him again, my life's full. I just gain life rapidly. The bit of dodge that he has on doesn't help him at all. But I think this is going to be a timeout fight. Because by the time Stealth has gone through cooldown, Misophirica has not dealt enough hits and he goes back into Stealth. So this is going to be a pointless fight. Which is a good fight, but pointless. We do have troops on the base at first, but now there's no troops and that does not make a difference at all. So I'm just going to end the battle right there. I'm going to get nowhere with this. And he's not going to kill my Zephy and I'm not going to kill his. Hmm. I forgot to take the troops out of the base, but that's fine. I'm just going to attack it as it is. Um, I'm eventually going to get all those troops out and then... Um, because I, I think it's hitting about like 20 troops per second. Or every 2 seconds or something like that. Okay. Almost done with all the troops. And we should start hitting on Zephy now. There we go. Full hits on Zephy. I'm doing a lot of damage to him on his hero base though. Which goes to show that it's actually not a bad build. There's nothing to help his attack in any way. Nothing. But it still deals so much damage. And I don't know if you noticed, but his Zephy is taking a lot more damage than mine. Look at that. Look at that. It's going to go into stealth mode. No. Started healing before he could get into stealth mode. He is going to go into stealth mode now. Um, Lazulix. So Lazulix can actually kill Zephyrica. He can. I've been through that before. But would he be able to kill him while Zephy has Zerg 9? No, he won't. I don't even know if I'm going to have to carry on with this. That already tells you that Lazulix is... No, okay, so that's not going to work. Early conviction. Traits. HP traits. Let's see if this is gonna do anything. I need to get rid of, rid of the troops as well. Because it's just gonna get my Zephy um, hitting on the legend faster. Sooner. I should say he's negating all damage, but he's taking some damage. He's not dealing a whole lot of damage. Nope, that's done. Um, I've got a lot of confidence that Zephyrica is going to damage Skeletica and not take a lot of damage. I don't know. I'm just confident in that. It's negating. It's healing. It's negating. It's healing. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Come on. Stop negating all the damage. Fudge. Okay. Skeletica, aren't you gonna die soon? I guess I can't kill the Skeletica. That's weird. Does Skeletica even have a pet on? Yes, it's got Fennec. Well, it doesn't seem like I'm gonna take him down soon. This is just gonna be a fight till the end of eternity. So I'm going to end it right there. Skeletica, well done. What a tank. 
Walla Walla is just gonna heal through everything. He's a crazy healer, man. I don't like Walla Walla that much because he's so soft. But at Breakthrough 30, he's obviously better. But how is he against my Zephy? Can he out heal Zephy? No, he cannot. Is it even worth going on? Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. We've seen now with Skeletica, it's not always the case that if you win him on his, on, on Zephy's base, it's not this. You get what I'm saying. There we go. Versus this Walla. As you can see, Walla is healing a significant amount of health back. So offensive Walla is obviously bad. Defensive, he's, he's, he's healing. He's healing, but he's not damaging at all. But how can he tank Zephy like this? Can you take him down? Oh, look, if, if we're going to be in 40 seconds and Zephy hasn't damaged him yet. Well, he damages him, but he doesn't take him down. Then he's probably not going to. Well, let's keep it the full minute. See what happens. I doubt that something's going to happen in this minute. Nothing happened. Oh, nope. He just gets a full heal back. Dove Keeper is next. Vigorous Fury 9 of 9. Survival 9. Equipment. Holy Conviction. And Traits. Full Dodge. Wow. But I've got almost full accuracy on my Zephy. So can a full dodge Dove Keeper kill Zephyrica? I just want to see her life go down. That's all that happens. Even with full dodge, he miss, uh, with accuracy, he misses most of the shots. And even if he gets it in, it's not going to do a whole lot because survival will just fill that straight back up. Zerk doesn't really help him here, but she, as you can see, is not doing a whole lot. I don't think she will be able to kill him. There's no way. Because he's got damage to start with. And that life drain just keeps him alive. I think he's gonna be an awesome legend for Fortress Feud. I, I'll send him in alone. See what happens. So as for now, this is not gonna go anywhere, and it's even gonna go worse on a different hero base. But she won't be able to take him down. That's a fact, and he won't be able to take her down. So, moving on to the next legend up would be a Lavanica. This Lavanica has the same setup as Dove. Uh, Vicarious Fury 9, Holy Conviction, and Traits Dodge. Well, I have accuracy, but as we've just seen now, accuracy does not do anything. But what's going to happen in this fight? The, 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 I just think the only thing with Castle Clash these days are that a legend can stay alive for so long and heal, to self heal. You don't have to do anything, you just heal through it. But there's new talents and crests and insignias and enchantments and stuff like that. But um, nothing's gonna happen. My Levanica is not gonna. Ah, oh, my Zephyrica is not gonna damage that lava any time soon. And same with lava. I, this just isn't gonna happen. So the top ones thus far is Dove and Levanica. Let's see Mahatma because she's a quick hitter, you know. Um, nine of nine life drain, unbridled fury, and HP traits with one attack five. I don't know how this is gonna go, honestly, because she's quick. She is freaking quick, man. There she goes. If she starts hitting, you know, she gets up to speed. She does take most of the damage in this fight, but she just heals straight back up with that attack speed that she has and 9 of 9 life drain insignia. Damn. But not damaging Zephyrica 
in any way. You don't even see a, a, a change in life on his bar. And he almost took it down. I think he's going to take it down. Just give it a bit of time. Yep. Okay, so he won that fight. Let's, let's, now we can change. Teeters. My hot behind the base. Did deal a significant amount of damage to Zafirika there. But he gained that back. Um, I... Okay, so Mahatma is not losing life at all. In a defensive position, she's pretty well. She's doing well. Um, a defensive, not as much. But yet again, Zafirika staying alive, not losing. Losing more health than he would typically lose on his own base. But that's normal. She is losing about that much half at a time over there that is what she loses and then she just gains that back and this is gonna be a unending fight okay i think testing the heroes like that is stupid because nothing's gonna happen let's go into dungeon quickly and then i'm gonna end the video so if your boys don't mind hitting that subscribe button leaving a like donating to the cause and um i'm gonna lead out with this and then i'll see you boys in the next video i will be live streaming later on tonight if you want to join that see that rapid fire hitting on those legends 163,000. that is all the rapid fire can deal um, it's not going to deal more than that at all i think this is a good test to see how much rapid fire can actually deal 163,000 is all you can get out of it this is pretty significant though pretty good i should say my words are poorly chosen for my vocab but he's removing the centaurs at a damn fast pace man they're not doing a whole lot of damage to him at all bye bye and see you guys in the next video hope you enjoyed cheers guys